Hello, and in this video, we're going to distinguish yields from returns. Now, in essence, these are two ways for investors to assess an asset. And they both have two very different uses, although they can be confusing. So in essence, what it is, is if an investor wants to look at the past performance of an asset, they will look at returns because this is a backward looking way of assessing um, a particular asset. In essence, what returns do is they're basically telling you what you get out of an asset. So they say, this is the current income stream from the asset, whether it's dividends or rental stream, etc. And to that, you add the gain or the loss to the investor from having the asset. So this can be either um, any price increases in the asset or any price decreases. And in essence, this will give you the total return from the asset or you can divide this by price and times by 100 to give you returns in the form of a percentage. But it's backward looking, it's looking at what the asset has given to you thus far. Yields are very different, they're forward looking. In essence, they express the income um, from the asset as a percentage of, um, so basically an annual income I should say, as a percentage of the price of an asset. So to calculate a yield, you have some form of income and you divide that by price and you times by 100. Now, another fundamental difference between the two is that um, with yields, you are directly finding a, causal, uh, finding, causal, finding a relationship between price and income. With returns, you're not necessarily, you're just looking at income plus what you've lost or gained from having that asset. And the other thing is with returns, you are taking into account in your gain or loss any changes in the market value of the asset. With yields, this is not necessarily true. You're just looking at the income as a percentage of the price you paid or the current price it is. It's not looking at changes in the marketplace. So they have two very different uses and essentially it just depends on are you looking at what's going to happen in terms of the future of the asset then you need to look at yields or are you looking at the past performance of an asset then you need to look at returns um so this is basically a two minute video on yields and returns thank you for watching